from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. A rise in new unemployment claims this week also could mean the economy is not close to rebounding from this pandemic. Today, the Labor Department says new claims for unemployment rose to more than 965,000 in the last week. That's a major jump from the previous week. Thousands of Hoosiers also remain out of work. More than 18,000 people filed new claims in Indiana a week ago. That's up from just under 15,000 claims filed the previous week. COVID-19 restrictions have impacted every Hoosier restaurant in some way, and it's also led to a number of efforts to bring customers back to keep these businesses alive. The Great Dine Out is a new concept from Hamilton County Tourism. If you visit participating restaurants, that makes you eligible for other rewards. So to register, just go to visithamiltoncounty.com and your passport will be delivered right to your phone. With a wintry mix in our forecast heading into the weekend, the Department of Public Works will soon start treating our city streets. The city says Indy Snow Force drivers will have a full shift call out starting at 11 o'clock tonight. DPW says the crews will remain active through at least Saturday evening. More on that. Let's go over to Todd Clausen. Hey, TK. Yeah, Lauren, we're going to start to see some rain showers develop after sunset tonight, but it's all rain showers here this evening. That is the good news for you. If you do have plans, you may have to grab the umbrella, and they're generally mainly going to be at least in the metro area, probably not until 9 o'clock onward, and should generally be very, very light. But by tomorrow morning and then throughout the day tomorrow, we'll be dealing with spotty snow showers off and on throughout the day. We're not looking at a lot in the way of accumulation, generally an inch or less, but that is enough to slicken up the roadways in spots. And also watch out for quickly changing visibility on the roadways, especially if you're on the highways at higher speeds. Those visibilities could change very quickly. Temperatures tomorrow cooler than they are today with highs that'll only be in the 30s. All right, Todd, thank you so much. For more stories and weather you need to know, just download the WRTV News app. Thanks for joining us.